Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whenever you click this link, I want to welcome you or welcome you back to my prayer closet. If you are new, here's what we do. We pray, we study God's word, and we provide you tips and testimonies <laughs> to help you live your life victoriously. If you need any of those three things, I want to personally invite you to join our relatively new virtual faith family uh, by hitting the subscribe button so you'll know when I have videos to come out. You'll be the first to know, okay? Now to all 902 of my subscriber sisterhood, ooh-wee, y'all, God is on the move. I just finished praying for y'all, I love seeing all of these testimonies. I see KK got a job. Praise the Lord. Um, I'm just so happy for y'all. I am. Now, um, this prayer is extremely specific. Um, and I know it will not apply uh, to a lot of y'all because a lot of y'all don't have sons in jail. Um but could you do me a favor? Could you please forward it uh, to someone that you know, uh, whether it's, um, you know, a nephew, an uncle, a family member, friend, somebody, you know, that might know someone. I just want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. This is part two to a prayer. Um, last week, I prayed a prayer of rescue for young men. Um, and so this is a prayer of restoration. I've often thought about doing this prayer uh, really for months and months now because uh, my most popular video uh, with probably close to 9,000 views um, at this point is called Prayer for Sons. Um, I recorded that video really for myself tearfully in my garage um, not even in my prayer closet uh, after all the George Floyd stuff happened. And so I just started praying in my garage, y'all, tearfully about um, protection for our sons and and for them to flourish and thrive. But for months now, I've been thinking about a prayer. What happens if your son turns the wrong way? Those mamas need a prayer. And so I didn't pray uh, back months ago when God laid it on my heart. Well, and by the way, if you're new here, I normally try not to talk this long. I try to go ahead and pray within two minutes, but please bear with me, okay? And I do apologize. Um, but two or about two weeks ago, my husband uh, was sitting down watching a Netflix movie starring Jennifer Hudson. And um, it was a, called Monster, and I'm not endorsing the movie saying go watch it or anything. Um, I wasn't going to watch it because I had seen the previews, uh, but my husband wanted me to watch it with him. And I, I didn't want to watch it and be a you know another sad black mama movie. I just didn't want to watch it, but I did. And long story short, I won't give the whole movie away. Uh, Jennifer Hudson's son was 17 year old honor student, arts student going to a school uh, that was in an affluent area. Um, him and Jennifer and her husband were very well off uh, in Harlem. I think they were either Harlem or Brooklyn. I don't quite remember as where it was said through a series of events, the son ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time, hooking up with the wrong people. And he ended up in jail. And this one scene from um, the movie just had me in tears. And it was Jennifer sitting there visiting her son, the look on her face when she had to look at her son in jail. And so that further cemented my 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 need to pray this prayer for you mom and mamas and mothers and grandmothers of young men who are in jail um so uh and, and I wasn't gonna do it but then last week I had an exchange back and forth uh with a lady um who had seen my prayer for sons part one video back from last year I guess it's a three-part video so anyway I'll put all the links below so 
I've been talking for five minutes. I'm going to pray briefly, but I'm believing the Lord that the words that I share are powerful because I want you to know there is no shame in the fact that your son or nephew or brother is in jail. Um, we're going to pray that God will restore him. Do you hear me? Listen to me, okay? Um, believe he's going to be okay. Believe that tomorrow will be better. And then the next day better and the next day better. And that whatever lesson he had to learn that he learned, he learned that lesson. And uh, he's restored. Amen. Ladies, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I lift up uh, every single woman of God who is listening at the sound of my voice. If they have a son or a nephew or any relative that is sitting behind bars, I pray for a refreshing in their spirit right now. Lord Jesus, I pray for the young men or the older men that are in jail. First John 1 9 over them that if they confess their sins, you're faithful and just to forgive them and to cleanse them of all unrighteousness. Father, I pray James 1:12 over these men or boys. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial for when he has stood the test, he'll receive the crown of life, which God you've promised. So father, I want to pray right now for restoration. According to Joel two, that you restore the years, the months, the days, the moments that these young men and boys have lost sitting behind bars. Father, according to Psalms 51, 12, I pray you restore the joy of their salvation. And Father, speaking of salvation, that while these men and boys are in jail, if they don't know you as Lord and Savior, bring them to their knees in repentance. I pray that you would use Christians behind bars to minister to them. Soften the hearts of these men and boys while they're in jail for the gospel. I pray first Peter 5 10 that after these men and boys, these sons have suffered a little while, the God of all grace who has called them into eternal glory will restore, confirm and strengthen them. Lord, father, I pray for a turnaround. Simply put, Turn their lives around, God. Father, restore years they've lost with their education, years they've lost with good quality friendships, years they've lost with good quality family time. Restore it all, Lord. Crip them while they're sitting behind bars by your spirit. As I speak right now, Holy Spirit, for every woman that's listening that has a relative behind bars, a son, grandson, as I'm speaking, I pray right now that your spirit is going behind the bars and touching them. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for you know the plans you have for these sons, declares the Lord, plans to give them hope. Not evil to give them future. I pray for their future, Lord. So, Father, I pray that you restore everything they've lost. I pray that they get saved, set free, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. So that when they come out of jail, hallelujah, they are restored. They're a new creation in Christ Jesus. And they'll never, ever return to their old way of living ever again. We believe that, Lord. And we receive it. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Precious ladies, um... Don't fret, all righty? I will continue to pray. Um, you do not have to respond at all um, unless you just want to send me an email to prayercloset.kim 
at Gmail. Uh, just say amen if this is you or your family member. Just say amen uh, in your heart, out loud, and just begin to praise God for what he's going to do. I'll pray that God protects your son in jail, uh, your nephew, uh, but we need them to restoration and healing to take place in their heart and in their lives um, so that they'll be free in Jesus, even while they're behind bars. I love you all very, very dearly, and I'm grateful uh, for your partnership with my ministry. I really am. I love you, and y'all have a great weekend. Bye-bye.